History of TikTok TikTok is one of the most popular social media platforms among Generation Z. It has more than 2.3 billion all-time downloads and over 1.5 billion active monthly users. But have you ever wondered how it started? Come on, let's explore the history of TikTok. Welcome to History Series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. In September of 2016, TikTok blasted on the social media scene, quickly growing to become an international hit and a platform capable of competing with social media giants such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Despite its late entrance, TikTok has demonstrated a lot of staying power over the past years and has carved out a large, loyal audience in an area where so many social media apps before it have failed. Today, TikTok is valued at over $100 billion and boasts an incredible 1.5 billion active monthly users. But how did this app quickly rise to such prominent levels of popularity and profitability? It all started with a tale of two halves, the Musical.ly, which became popular among teenagers in the West, and Douyin, which was enjoyed mostly by teenagers in the East. Musical.ly originated from China and was founded by Alex Zhu and Lu Yu Yang in 2014. The duo thought of creating a platform that would make it easy for people to shoot music videos that they could share with their friends. Initially, Musical.ly was introduced to both China and the USA. However, it was American teenagers who took notice of the app. By July 2015, Musical.ly had built a substantial following and surpassed Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram in the iOS popularity. By mid-2017, the app had over 200 million users doing either musical or non-musical acts. On the other hand, a Chinese app developer, ByteDance, created an app named Douyin in 2016. Within the year, it had over 100 million users, viewing more than 1 billion videos per day. Launched initially only in China, the app was renamed and branded to TikTok for better international appeal while keeping its original name in China. In late 2017, ByteDance purchased Musical.ly for a rumored amount of $800 million to expand into the U.S. teenage market. The following year, ByteDance consolidated the user accounts of Musical.ly and TikTok, merging the two apps into one under the name TikTok. The merge between TikTok and Musical.ly was not the end of the game. It was a unified brand and user base. The app began to increase in popularity very quickly. TikTok became the most downloaded app on the Apple App Store in early 2018, surpassing Instagram, WhatsApp, and YouTube. In July 2019, it has over 500 million total installs on the Google Play Store. That same year, TikTok ended up being the third most downloaded app behind WhatsApp and Messenger. With the rise of TikTok downloads, it became inevitable that celebrities and high-profile people would take an interest in the platform. The late-night comedian Jimmy Fallon may be the user who pushes the app over the edge in the United States. On one segment of NBC's The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, he encouraged viewers to take part in a series of challenges, such as the tumbleweed, where people stop what they're doing and roll around in the ground like a tumbleweed while an old Western movie soundtrack plays. Other influencers such as actor Will Smith and entrepreneur Gary Vaynerchuk have also adopted the platform and have been sharing repurposed content that is more relevant to teenagers. TikTok, on the surface, does not look so different from the litany of other video-centric social media apps that came before it, like Snapchat, Vine, or Dubsmash. What makes TikTok different from them is its algorithm that makes binge-watching irresistible. It also offers far more possibilities for creators with its sophisticated array of sound and visual effects. The biggest draw of TikTok is the ability to post about anything, humor, hobbies, fitness, travel, music, photography, dance, and literally anything under the sun. Every category is open and gaining huge attention. Each area is offering exposure for those who can adapt their content to the short-form video model. 
While entertainment seems to be the main draw at the moment, there is also an increase in both education, aspiration, and business-oriented content. In 2019, TikTok landed its first major promotional partnership in the United States by agreeing to a deal with the National Football League. The partnership saw TikTok hosting fan activities and events in honor of NFL's 100th season as well as the launch of an official TikTok NFL account. Today, TikTok enjoys partnerships with a vast number of major companies and celebrities in the United States and across the world. During the rise to becoming one of the most well-known social media platforms in the world today, TikTok has endured its fair share of controversy. By and large, most of the controversy surrounding TikTok has been about the fact that its users are largely anonymous, leading to a concerning amount of cyberbullying on the app. In December 2019, the German digital rights group Netzpolitik.org released a report accusing TikTok of suppressing videos by disabled users and LGBT users. TikTok admitted that the accusation was true and that they have been telling moderators to likewise suppress videos that featured people with quote-unquote abnormal body shape or ugly facial looks in an attempt to reduce cyberbullying on the app. TikTok has also come under scrutiny for being too addictive for its young users. In 2018, the company released an addiction reduction feature on the app that would encourage users to take a break if they have been on the app for an extended amount of time. Lastly, TikTok has even been criticized for potentially being a national security concern for the United States, given the fact that the Chinese company who owns the app would be legally required to share its vast amount of data on American users if the Chinese government demanded that they do so. Despite these controversies, TikTok remains an extraordinarily popular and profitable platform. Like most social media apps, TikTok makes a lot of its revenue by advertising to its users on the platform. However, the app's primary source of income is another revenue stream not found on other social media sites. On TikTok, users can purchase coins within the app that they can gift to their favorite content creators. The creators can exchange these coins for a variety of digital gifts and payouts. This leaves the company to profit from the difference between the price of the coins that users purchase and the price of the payouts that are awarded to content creators. This unique business model raised incredible revenues and largely contributed to the success of the company. While TikTok's unique platform and even more unique revenue stream have certainly been the primary driving forces behind the app's success, TikTok's internationally recognizable logo has a huge role in the app's rise to the worldwide prominence. Generally, it is common for companies to dramatically change their logos over the years, but TikTok is the exception to this rule. Today, TikTok still makes use of essentially the same logo designed when the app was first released in 2016. The design features the letter D, modeled in the shape of a musical note, representing at the time that the app's original name was Dunyin. Although the app's name was changed to TikTok when it was released internationally, the company still kept this same design. While most users don't realize the meaning behind the D in TikTok's logo, the design is nevertheless recognizable all around the world and has played a key role in the company's marketing. TikTok is still primarily an app for normies. The act of scrolling through TikTok will transport you into the worlds of regular teenagers whose videos have thousands of likes and hundreds of supportive comments. Extremely popular with Generation C, TikTok is a glimpse into what it means to be growing up in today's hyper-connected world. Today, TikTok is undeniably the newest contender for the throne of the social media giant. Thanks for exploring TikTok's history with us. Do you have any requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.